Hi everyone. So if you're like me, you've updated your macOS software and you've updated uh, your latest version uh, of Maverick. And with that came the update of iPhotos to Photos, which I have down here. I'm going to open up my library. So as you can see, here are some of my pictures. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this out because I am not wanting to use photos. I'm a little unfamiliar with it. And most importantly, it's not working with iCloud. Um, so I can't really back up my entire collections uh, to the cloud like it's been advertised. So I'm going to go ahead and revert back to using iPhotos. I want to show you how to do that real quickly. So you want to go to your applications. And if you notice, your iPhoto app is still installed into your computer. What happens when you update your software, the icon was removed from your dock and was replaced with photos, but the application itself is still on your computer. Go ahead and open it up. And right where you left off. One quick tip, if you ever make any edits or changes to your library in iPhotos, they will not reflect into photos if you ever wanna use photos in the future. So the way to do that is really easy. What you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and press and hold the option key and click on photos. And this will pop up and you will have this menu pop up where it's asking you to choose library. Go ahead and choose your iPhoto library and it will update any edits, changes, um, modifications you've made to your library in iPhotos and update it into photos. And from there, you can continue using photos you'd like or go ahead and revert back to iPhotos in, in the future if you ever need to. I hope that this somehow helps you uh, manage your library uh, better. One last tip, before you make any changes or, or experiment with your library, please make sure to back up your pictures, uh, time machine, external hard drives, um, through the cloud, Amazon Photos, anything you can use to make sure that any changes that you make to your library collection, in case something goes wrong, you can always revert back to the latest uh, backup you've made. Uh, also make sure you have an offsite backup. It's always, a, it's always good to have redundant backups. Hope this helps. It's something that I'm finding very useful. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big fan of photos as of right now. Maybe in a couple weeks, a few months, I'll check it out again. But as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and stick to what I know and what works best for me. Hope you guys like my video. Feel free to make a comment. And uh, hopefully you, you give it a thumbs up. You guys have a good one.